What's going on YouTube? Adam Murray from Beyond Educated and if you noticed recently I've not been as prevalent on Facebook and social media and everything else and that's because I've been super busy and you've seen the title of the video, that's right, I have now uh, left my job and I'm pursuing things on my own so uh, I want to do this talk about uh, venturing out to do things on your own and if you're interested in finding out why I've done that and what I'm planning on doing, then stick around because we're going to cover all that in the next video. Hey. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. And so initially I thought it would be a great idea to film in uh, today's lighting it's supposed to be snowing tomorrow and yet the sun's blaring in and I thought what great lighting for the video but as it just happens it's like beaming off everything and uh, it's really uh, even with this light not the uh, not the best setup so stick with me because I'm going to talk to you about a topic that's been on my mind for ages uh, and so there's going to be two parts to this video the first part is going to be um, I don't know which order I'll do them in, but I, I've left my job now, uh, and so I'm doing things on my own. I am a free spirit, so to speak, so if you want to know why I've done that and uh, find out a little bit more, then uh, stick around for that. And the second bit, really, is going to be about uh, when to quit your job, because I know that a lot of people in the current environment don't enjoy the jobs, they don't enjoy... Um, doing what they do and I know that because people tell me like I, I hear from people all the time like I used to moan about oh, I hate my job you know it's I didn't hate my job but I used to moan about saying like I didn't like certain things about it things weren't done a certain way and now I have the control to do that on my own and I know from speaking to other people that other people feel like that because they feel like they're not in control of their own destiny if you like so uh, I wanted to talk about when is the right time to do that and what you should think about doing if you're going to uh, look to leave your job and a few things that you can put in place to uh, give you the bump and boost to actually go and do it. So if you've not seen my video before last, it was a video on uh, YouTube and how much money I make and stuff like that. And so if you've not seen that, click in the card. But what you'll find from that video is uh, that you'll see that from YouTube and my online coaching and bits and pieces that I sell, I don't actually make enough money to pay for the bills, pay for housing <laughs> costs and, and food and everything, but I do make a little bit of extra money and do some class at the gym, so that's not going to be my main source of income. A few people kind of thought that when I'd left that that would be what I would uh, be doing. So um, the actual thing that I'm going to be doing is sticking to the industry that I'm in. So I'm going to get involved in training. I'm setting up a training company. I'm working independently as a consultant at the minute to do some stuff in the sector. So that's going to be interesting. And I've got loads of different things in the pipeline. And one of the things that I've noticed is that I've been really, really busy in my first week. It's been my first week this week and it's been really exciting. And uh, even though I've been like mad busy, like some of the busiest I've been since like I've been working even working like for someone that employed I don't mind doing it so like late nights 30 hour days I don't mind doing it because I'm doing it for myself and that's one of the key messages that you got to take home like you don't mind working late when you're working for yourself but you don't necessarily you feel like you're getting something taken away from you when you're working late from someone else like if you have to stay in the office late but you're still getting paid the same salary I know some people might work like 80 90 hour weeks and you're getting paid like 35 grand a year something like that you know work out your hourly rate and work out whether it's actually worth it work out whether you're actually getting screwed over or um, you know whether you should actually be getting paid what you uh, are due really so I'm going to try and use my whiteboard to demonstrate if you can see that that, um, what I will be doing so um, sorry about this lighting guys I'll earn some money from gym classes that's a given I do online coaching which is going to bring in some money I have property which I have rental income from and then uh, I'm going to have my businesses now which is going to have a training company uh, I'm going to be doing some consultancy and then a or another business that I'm kind of working on and the main thing really to focus on here is saying well you know this might be a little bit of money this might be this much money this might be this much and this might be you know this much and so the key thing here is you've got multiple income streams so each different one is going to feed into being able to provide 
a lifestyle that I want to live by producing more of this, which is ultimately what you want. Now there's other parts that have, of that that um, obviously are much better than just the money. It's about uh, being able to work on your own, have the freedom and your own initiative to follow your own projects and pursue your own good causes. So that's what I'm going to be doing and obviously as part of that, uh, you know, on here, obviously I missed off like AdSense, but you know, that's that's absolutely tiny, that's not really a lot of money, you know, a few hundred pounds a month at best. And so, um, you know, that that's one of the things that I, I was going to talk about. So that's what I'm going to be doing, so if you don't see me as vocal, uh, or you don't see me as much on social media or watching videos and things like that, just because I'm so crazy busy at the minute and YouTube's something that I'm passionate about, something that I'm going to keep up doing. So uh, the main other thing that I'm doing at the minute is actually doing a photo shoot um, and that's coming up in five weeks and I'm developing an online course and like a walkthrough guide of the different videos and videos that, and stuff that you do week in, week out so you can get as shredded and as lean as possible for the summer. So that's coming, which is great. Um, and now the next topic really that I wanted to talk about if you're still sticking around is when should you think about leaving and quitting your job? Okay, let's look at it this way. You want to quit and you want to leave your job. That's cool. What do you need to do to get in place first? I'm going to break this up into a few different categories here. Uh, now, if you want to quit and you want to leave your job, it wouldn't make sense to just do that if you are going to have no money to buy food, you're going to have no money to do anything you want. And so there's a lot of things that need to happen in order to make the opportunity that you want to do come to fruition. And this could be any of these different uh, options so you need the opportunity and say opportunity slash experience so one of the things that that means is um, have you got the experience in a relevant field most people should pursue professions in their relevant field of expertise and that's coupled with opportunity so the more your experience you have the more opportunity you'll provide yourself and if you put yourself out there people will come to you and you will generate the opportunities if you use your initiative and you're that way inclined that links in with timing. These two things, sometimes, whether people say you make your own look, you can have less influence over, but you do need these two. And the unfortunate thing about them are that they aren't necessarily always within your control. The, the next thing really to say is you need money. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can um, save money from work, so you could like say, um, you know, save X amount, right? How much money do I need until I can get on my feet? I need three months, how much am I cost a month? 2,000 pounds a month, I need 6,000 pounds. And you start putting a plan in place now until you can get that money, but the key thing is you can't quit your job until you've got that money. So you either cut costs or make sacrifices, or if you get a windfall and you're very lucky, you can do it that way, but you just have to budget what your standard of living is gonna be until you actually think that you're gonna be making that money. And money can also be borrowed from banks, higher risk, you can borrow money off family and friends to set up ventures, but once you've got enough money, then you're ready to make the jump because that's the key factor that's really keeping people there. JDFI, just fucking do it. So just, just go out there and do it. It's probably not as scary as you think. There's probably more opportunities available for you than you expect that you couldn't pursue if you were employed by someone. And then the last one is really the most important of all. Unless you're gonna be doing a business that you're operating on your own individually um, and you can sort of work from a shed and not have to speak to anyone, you're gonna need people, you're gonna to need to network and you're gonna to have to work and be a sociable and a pleasant person out in the business environment becoming an expert in your field so people want your skills and want your knowledge and the only way that you're gonna do that is by networking in your current job and networking outside your current network and putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. Oh, <laughs>